Sister Ruth Fowl begins each day in quiet contemplation and prayer. But when she leaves Karachi's cathedral, the 81-year-old German nun resumes her lifelong work, offering humanitarian aid to those most in need. She's lived this way for the past 50 years. Today, she's off to one of the regions badly affected by the floods that hit Pakistan over summer. Das war ursprünglich ein Dorf. This used to be a village. Then the floods came. The water was so high that all the houses, these huts, were destroyed. Three quarters of the population here live off the land, but the flooding destroyed their crops. Once the water ebbed away, it was Ruth's organization that gave them the help they so desperately needed. Thanks to her, I managed to replant some colza and some mustard seeds. Apart from her, no one else comes down here. We haven't seen anyone else but her and her team. At one of the flood relief camps Ruth helped set up, many residents consider the sister their saviour. Before coming under her organization's care, many were heavily indebted to their employers and often worked years and made huge sacrifices to pay back the debts they owed. A slave mother told us the story of her first daughter. She was forced to give her to the son of their boss, a landlord, and the girl was forced into sexual relations with him. This kind of enslavement has been illegal in Pakistan for almost 20 years, but cases like this seldom reach the country's courts. It's an issue Ruth is keen to take on, all the while continuing her work helping the 5,000 flood victims under her care get their lives back on track. Fortunately, after a half century of work, there's no sign this sister is ready to retire.